Question four reads, the demand and supply functions for a good are given by the equation P equals 80 minus 2Q and P equals 20 plus 4Q respectively. Part A reads, calculate the equilibrium price and quantity. And part B reads, calculate the consumer and producer surplus at equilibrium. Um, the supplier pays an excise tax of 12 per unit sold. C, write down the equation for the supply function when the excise is imposed. D, recalculate the equilibrium price and quantity. And E, calculate the tax paid by one, the consumer, and to the producer. I may not do this entire question. I might just do first bit of it. Uh, we'll see how long it takes. So part A, calculate the equilibrium price and quantity. So if we think if we were to draw a very tiny supply and demand graph here, we've got Q and P and supply slopes upwards demand slopes downwards and at equilibrium they have same price and same quantity so what we need to do is isolate for one of these uh, in both equations and then set them equal to each other so here we've got price is 80 minus 2q and we've also got price is equal to 20 plus 4q. Here we see that uh, it's sloping downwards because it's negative 2q, so we know that's a demand function. Similarly, we can see that the other is sloping upwards because it's plus 4q, so we know that that is the supply function. So we're going to set them equal to each other. With that, we're going to get 80 minus 2q is going to equal 20 plus 4q. Now we will group like terms. So Left side, we will make 80, subtract 20 from both sides to get 80 minus 20. It's going to equal 4q. Add 2 to both sides, plus 2q. This comes out to 60 equals 6q. We can divide both sides by six. And we'll get that Q star equals 10. So our equilibrium quantity is 10. Because we just set the two uh, equations equal to each other, we just need to plug this Q star back into one or the other um, in order to solve uh, the price, the equilibrium price. So we'll plug it back in the first one, I guess. So we can say that price is going to equal 80 minus 2q. Of course, we know that q is 10. So price is then going to equal 80 minus 2 times 10, which is 20. Subtracting those. We will get the P star is going to be equal to 60. Just make sure our junior tutor did the same thing. Uh, they did. Cool. So our equilibrium quantity and our equilibrium price are going to be 10 and 60 respectively. Um, and that's going to be the answer to A. We can move on to B. B says calculate the consumer and producer surplus at equilibrium. So 
if I draw this, I should probably actually just represent this graphically too for you guys. So we've got supply. and demand. And we know that the equilibrium quantity here is gonna be 10. And we know that the equilibrium price is gonna be 60. So next thing we need to do, well, first I suppose we should remember that this in here is the consumer surplus and this in here is going to be the producer surplus. So uh, if we look at our demand equation, which is 80 minus 2Q, when the quantity is zero, we know that the price is going to be 80. So we can draw that here. If we look at our supply equation, 20 plus 4Q, we know that when the quantity is zero, price is gonna be 20. So we can draw that here. So we know the consumer surplus is this area, right? This area in here. And the producer surplus is going to be this area in here. So we can do the consumer surplus first. So the this is a triangle, obviously. So the, the height of the triangle is gonna be from this point to this point, or 80 minus 60. So that's the height. And our base, this point, we know that Q is 10, here Q is zero, so our base is gonna be 10. And if we just left it at that, we would calculate the area of this entire box, but because it's a triangle, we need to divide it by two. So our consumer surplus is then going to be 80 minus 60 is 20 times 10 over two, it's going to be 200 over two. So our consumer surplus is gonna be 100. I will check in a second with uh, what our junior tutor said to make sure I'm doing this right, because I'm just doing it off the top of my head. But I believe I'm on the right path so far. So the area in here is gonna be 100, and that's our consumer surplus. Our producer surplus, on the other hand, is represented by this triangle here. So the top is gonna to be 60 minus 20. So the height of this triangle is from 60 to 20. The base is gonna be the same as it was with the consumer surplus. So 60 minus 20 times 10. And because it's a triangle, we divide it by two. Should you guys remember the formula base times height over two for a triangle from your earlier math years. So 60 minus 20, we're going to get 40 times 10. Here I use a dot and an X for multiplication interchangeably. Probably bad practice, you should probably use one or the other, but I digress. Forty times ten is four hundred over two, and our producer surplus is gonna be two hundred. Um one hundred and two hundred, excellent. Cool. Um, 
So if if the, the supplier pays an excise tax, basically that's going to get factored um, into the equation. It just changes the, the supply function from being 20 plus 4Q to 32 plus 4Q. And then you can rerun the same calculations with your new numbers. Um, and result is you're going to get a lower equilibrium quantity and a higher price because there's a tax in the supplier. Uh, yeah. So I'm not going to run through that just for in the interest of time. But these are the, the two kind of general steps you need to take to one solve for equilibrium and then get your consumer surplus and your producer surplus. Give you guys a quick second to take a picture of that. 